because I can control the weather, they call me Storm. Storm is one of the most popular and distinguished characters of Marvel's mutant superhero team, the X-Men. She possesses the power to manipulate the elements, which allows her control of wind, flight, lightning, rain, snow, ice, and even heat. Transform this ice to steam! Storm was first introduced in May of 1975 in Giant Size X-Men number one. The leader of the X-Men, Professor Charles Xavier, recruited Storm and a few other new mutants to rescue his captured team of heroes. At the time, Storm was being worshipped as a goddess in Kenya. She was the first major black female superhero, which was a pretty big deal in the mid-70s. Wide positive reception has made Storm a mainstay of the X-Men series and a focal character in many of the X-Titles as time progressed. Since her debut in the comics, Storm has seen various incarnations in several animated television shows, a blockbuster film series, and many popular video games. Freeze. I However, the version that sticks in the minds of her fans as the most dynamic, aside from her comic persona, is the X-Men, the animated series Storm from the 90s. Running from 1992 to 1997, X-Men, the animated series, was a Saturday morning hit that transformed X-Men from a comic book title to the cultural phenomenon it became during that time period. Storm, who was arguably the most powerful character in the show's lineup of heroes, exuded power not previously seen from a female superhero. Fans like myself watched in delight as Storm made full use of her powers, often carrying the entire team to victory. I call upon the power of the hurricane! Who ordered the hurricane? Her weather manipulation was often accompanied by eloquent and dramatic vocal orchestrations. Fog, rise and enshroud us in the cloak of your gray mists. Floods of destruction, calm your surging struggle. Whirlwind, deliver them. I summon the full force of the elements. In some instances, Storm even became a voice against racism and injustice. Skin color prejudice? That's so pathetic, it's almost quaint. No living being has the right to enslave another. She was also a fully developed character in the sense that the series explored her weaknesses, including a fear of small spaces. Ah! Help! Storm's claustrophobic! Let me breathe! No! Stop! Stop, please! And a dangerous potential. I cannot allow it! I must keep my emotions in check, lest my powers rage out of control. All in all, Storm is a multi-dimensional superhero whose strengths and shortcomings were represented well in the animated series. This rendition has always occupied a special place in the hearts of her fans, especially those whose first exposure to Storm was through the show, like myself. X-Men the Animated Series catapulted her into the spot of Marvel's most recognizable female hero, and broke ground gracing television its first black superheroine. For more information on Storm, visit www.marvel.com.